Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at the latest update to Elementor. Now this is a pretty major update with one huge inclusion in the new version. So I'm going to update in this video and I'm going to show you what that new feature is. So let's check that out right now. So before we take a look at the update, let me just quickly explain what Elementor is. It's a visual editor that works inside WordPress. So in other words, it allows you to visually create pages inside your theme in WordPress with a drag and drop environment. Now there's a lot more to it than that and I'd recommend checking out the video that introduces you to Elementor in the description below and I'll also pop that up in the top right hand corner right now. Check that video out, have a look what it does for you. If you think it's something you want to install, install it, then come back and check out what's new in this version. So let's take a look at this update, let's run through that and see what it's giving us. So as you can see, I'm in the plugin section of WordPress and we've got a nice big banner across the top telling us there's a new version of Elementor page builder ready to install. So this is version 0.7.1. So let's just hit update now, let it run through and we can take a look at exactly what's added into the new version. So there we go, there's the update completed. Let's go into a page and take a look at this new update. So I've now got a new page opened up in front of me. The first thing we're going to do is switch Elementor Editor on so we can start editing the page and we can take a look at what this major new feature is. So if I click Edit with Elementor, that'll switch us over to the editor and take us into the Elementor screen itself. So as you can see, if you've used Elementor in the past, we only had Add a New Section previously, but we now have Add Template. So all the normal facilities are down the left hand side, we've got everything in there, there's been some bug fixes and some updates and so on. But what we're interested in is the template feature. So if we click on that, that'll now open up a browser that allows us to choose from a set of predefined professionally designed templates. So we can click and you can see we now have a huge range of templates which we can now pick from and we can use those as the basis of our page, all using the Elementor editor. So whatever you're familiar with using, all the different widgets, all those are going to be in there and we can edit those and configure the page to look exactly as we want without having to go through the entire process of setting everything up piece by piece. So let's come over and let's just take a look at something we think is going to be a good starting point. Let's just say we're going to use this one, the tourism landing page. So you can see I've got the option to insert directly from here. So if I click on that, that's going to take us through, load that in, and then we can start working with that. We've also got the ability to save pages that we've created as templates and they'll be stored in the My Template section. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later in the video. For now, we're just going to concentrate on using the predefined templates that ship with Elementor itself. So let's go in, let's insert that page. We can also preview it if we want to. So we can click, take a look at what that's going to look like. Make sure that we're happy with the overall style of it. If we're happy, we can click Insert or we can go back to the library and we can choose from a different one. But for now, we're going to say, yeah, that's exactly what we want. We'll click insert. And after a second or two, that's going to load that in and allow us to start working on the page and editing all the content. So you can see all the things we used to when we're working with Elementor itself to create our pages is all still intact. We can come over, we can edit any of these, the columns. We can click and adjust that. We can click on any element in there. And you can see in the left hand side in our edit area, we can start working with that and configure this to get exactly what we want, customize every part of it, but without having to go through the process of creating it from scratch. Same goes with our lines. You see, we've got a slider there with all the logos on. Everything is set up in there, so We can just simply get rid of the images, replace them with our own. Same goes with the quotes and everything else on the page. And we can carry on adding more templates if we want to or add new sections in exactly the same way that we would any other time. So that's pretty cool. So you can see we can very quickly and easily just pull in a template and use it for the basis. So let's take a look next at how we can save our own template and use that at any point using this same facility. So let's check that out now. Okay, I've created a simple template that I want to save as part of Elementor so I can use it at any point in the future. So what I can do now, once I've got my page layout all set up, is come down to the bottom section on the left hand side and we've got the folder icon that is all our templates. If I click on that, you can see we have two options available, templates library and save template. So if I click on save template, that's gonna pop up and ask me to give it a name. So I'm just gonna give this a name. And once I've given it a name, I'm gonna click hit save. 
that's going to go and save my page template out. You can see it now tells me that this is a page template because one of the cool things you can do with Elementor is you can save pages and you can save parts of a design. So you don't have to save the entire page, you can just save parts of it. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. But for now you can see when we've got this first template in there, we mouse over it, we now have four options. We've got preview, delete, export and insert. Preview will allow us to see what that looks like on the page. So you can see it pulls it up and shows us exactly what that's going to look like. Delete will do exactly as the name suggests, which is delete it. Export allows us to export this out and then we can export that JSON file and we can import that into other installations of WordPress that use Elementor. So you could share these with other people or you can just share them between sites that you're working on. Got a lot of options there. And we can also click insert to add that to our page. So obviously we've already got that on the page at the moment. So there's no point in me doing that, but that option is there to insert from your templates or your portions of your design. So with all that done, let's take a look at how we can now just save out part of a design. So I'm going to use the same layout that I've just created. And let's just say in this example, I like the style of this header and I want to use that on every single page, but I don't want to have to go through the process of recreating it every time I want to use it. But I also don't want to use the entire page layout and then have to go and delete the bits that I don't want. That's going to be time consuming and just a bit annoying. So what we can do, we can come over any of the elements on our page and you see we've got the context options on the top left hand side we now have the option to save. So we can save just this portion out. So if I click on save, that's gonna say, enter your, your name. So we're gonna call this custom header and click save. And that's now gonna save it. And you can see that we now have a different icon at the beginning and we have section. So we now know that this isn't an entire page. This is just part of a page or a small section which makes this really, really useful. And something that for someone that uses Visual Composer commercially, that would be a great thing to be able to do as opposed to having to save the entire page out and remove the bits you don't want. So if those developers are listening, take note. But anyway, so let's just create a new page now and let's go in and take a look at adding that, just that section in. So I'm gonna come back out of this. I'm gonna create a new page in WordPress. So we'll just call this one section sample invoke elemental and now we're going to do is add template so we click on there go to my templates this time as opposed to the predefined ones click on there and you can see now we have the two that we've just saved out so i'm going to come over to section which is the custom header and insert that and there's our custom header inserted so we can create small template pieces that we can then go in and add in on a page by page basis instead of having to go through and create everything from scratch. So this is a really, really flexible tool that's already taking Elementor and elevating it into really, really a must have plugin. So download it, try it out for yourself, take a look at how these templates work. I'm sure you're gonna find this is very, very useful and the fact that it's completely free, as I keep saying, makes it even more invaluable. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add. As before, all the applicable links are in the description below. So download, install, test it and see what you think of it. Give us your feedback in the comment section below. We read everything you post and we try to answer as many questions as possible. Well, until next time, take care.